Hey, Amanda! Welcome to uh, Arn's Beer TV. Uh, I'm your host, Arn Mekong, aka Beer Lover. Anyways, uh, today, uh, I guess uh, winter's here, Christmas here, the holidays are approaching, so I got a uh, strong beer that we can taste for the holiday that we can enjoy with friends and family. So it's a uh, Maher uh, Drow. It's a quadruple from uh, Belgium. Uh, Bugenhut, Belgium. It's draw percent quadruple. So here it is. I'll spin around, take you guys a look at it. So uh, this is kind of like wine. Uh, it's a high end beer. It's a Belgium quadruple. So those are consumed on special occasion. So uh, like Christmas coming, so it'd be great to uh, have a bottle or two with the family. So there it is. Uh, along with uh, the bar we have, I have a draft uh, beer of the Molo Drill, which is uh, right now pulling at Mekong is for beer lover. So thanks to Mekong, I'm uh, pulling one along with a bottle, just side by side, see how it tastes like. So here we go. 750 case cork, there it is. Oh wow, check out this color. It's a uh, dark brown. Uh, brown. It's kind of remind me of like a dark mahogany. Oh. Have you guys had take a taste in the quad before, guys? Yes, but not the mahu. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go, guys. We turn that around. Have a taste. So there it is. The bottle on my left. Draft beer on my right. So, check that out, huh? Oh wow, in the draft, it's a little darker. On bottom, a little lighter brown color. Oh, interesting. Mm. Interesting. All right, so dark mahogany, little brownish color, and bottom. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, let me give the nose a little treat here. Wow, Woo. lots of uh, sweet dark fruit flavor. Uh, first thing that hit my nose a little bit is the clove. And then followed by uh, dark fruit like figs and raisin and uh, date and a little uh, dry apricot. Wow, uh, let's see what the draft, uh, draft side tastes, uh, smell like. Mmm. More subtle aroma. I guess it's been sitting here, so I don't know if the aroma been flying around, but... Again, it's not as sweet as the uh, smell on, on, on the bottom side, but you, you, you can really smell the duck fruit, and then the clove come out. And it's still got raisin fig. No dry apricot. On the draft side, it kind of reminds me of a uh, fig newt. Have you guys eat the fig meat and, and, and yes. you know that figgy, yes. you know sweet? That that's that's what it remind me on the on the on the draft side. So, so there it is, draft bottle. So uh, shall we get a tongue a little treat, guys? Here we go. Mm -hmm. So let me give the bottle side a taste first. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Man. It's kind of like it just melt in your mouth. All right, it's on this side, the draft side. Oh wow, slightly different on a on a on a draft side. On this side, you got a little uh, you got uh, dark fruit like oh, oh like raisin fig you know date. Mm -hmm dry apricot, you know, fight in your mouth. And you got good sweet Belgian candy like from beginning to the end. It's just real nice, smooth, sweet, like like one of those perfect candy, you know, sweet candy, like from beginning to the end. And they got a little uh, clove right in the middle. And um, the finish is, is, is very, very, very well balanced. Um, got it leaned to a little on the sweet side and then a little spiciness 
uh, with a little alcohol right at the end that's kind of sneaking down to your throat and to your belly. So that's, uh, that's on the bottom side. So uh, let's give uh, the draft a little treat. Mm. Wow. The draft, I think, uh, to me, opinionally, a little touch better. Uh, more complex uh, dark fruit. It's, it's more like, you know, they, they come in and play and they, 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 they gel in. They gel in. Why do you think it's the difference? I don't know. It's just, uh, I guess there's, there are more room in the cake for them to breathe. And, you know, there's, I mean, both of them are, are light beer, you know, bottle fermented. So one side, it's just less of room to work with. And one side, you have the whole cake to mm. work with. Yeah. So I think they have more room to play with. Mm. So I think another thing is that when they, uh, when they uh, prime the cake, it'll be probably a little lesser sugar, priming sugar. So that's why it's more balanced than, uh, than the bottle. But uh, it's, it's just more balanced. Uh, and on the, on the draft side, I, I taste a little touch of chocolate malt. Mm. For some reason, just a little touch of chocolate malt there. Um, and, you know, it's still great sweetness from beginning to the end, but I think just more balance on the draft side. It's just, you know, the, uh, the um, it's about 12%, but you don't really taste on the draft side, but you can taste it on the bottom side. You can taste the heat, kind of sneak up to you and then bam, down you. But this guy is kind of like, you know, cotton candy, you know, you just chew on it and it just blah, disappear. Mm. Yeah, but this will sneak on you. You will get in trouble with this beer, sneak <laughs> on you. So overall, man, they, they, they are great beer. I mean, I'm just slightly, you know, it just, you know, taste the sideways, like slightly, the draft is better to me. Um, it's a great quad. I mean, it's it's awesome quad. That uh, not on the echelon uh, level of uh, Chimay or Rothford or Saint Bernard's. It's just one half a uh, half a point right below them. Um, if I am to score this beer, uh, this will be around 97 for this draft, and this would be around 95 on the uh, on the bottom side. So great. Uh, great, great quad. So uh, go out there and find yourself one and you know buy several and enjoy with your family and close friend for Christmas because it's a time for sharing. So this is a great beer to share with the family or even for Thanksgiving, you know, with Thanksgiving meal, this would be awesome, awesome beer. So there it is. Uh, uh, Molo Drow uh, Belgian quad. And uh, remember, uh, beer is the answer.